So what I'll be doing is I'll be basically scaling this guy first, but how would I scale this? So to make sure this is going to be scaled correctly, I'll be using something called scale and U. I'll be scaling this geometry based on its area, but this time I'll be using the like the I'll be using the uh, centroid as its centroid, but probably it's going to be on uh, X Y plane, right? So one thing I can do here is to provide a provide a plane that understands this automatically. So how can I do that? If I grab an evaluate surface, right? And if I connect this here, and then if I connect the area on here. I think, is this the UV point? Oh, this is the UV point, so not evaluate, so surface closest point probably would work. Surface closest point. So this is gonna be my surface and the area is going to be my point. So we have the point and the UV point. So if I now come over and create evaluate surface, that will, maybe I can pull out the surface here to have some, a bit further space, you know. Connect this one here and another surface, the same surface will connect this one. This is the UV point and now maybe I can grab this surface. So I'll, I'll have some space, obviously. And connect this one over here. So now what I know here is basically my, see we have a frame here and this frame is kind of the frame that I'm looking for, right? And when I connect this one here as my plane, and this is going to be my surface, right? So if I want to play around with this on its X scale, you see it goes on this direction on X. And if I go on Y, it's going to go Y. There's no Z because it understands, the, it locates the plane accordingly. Obviously, we can just come over here and then play around with only Y and Z. That's completely up to you, but it's good to keep this in mind. So, a couple of things we can consider to put here. So, one thing first, maybe I can say 0 0.75 on X. Okay, so I want to make things a bit smaller on X, but I want to make things really, really large on Y. So this is going to be our boundary for, for the for the glazing. So these are going to be for walls for sure. We can keep this aside, okay, and then put it in. And then we can start, put like this can be a frame of ours, this can be a frame of ours, and then we can design on what we are going to do. So I can preview this off and I can take this on only. And in the next video, maybe I can group this, right? And these are all the same. So I can copy this and paste for all of this because this is gonna be this surface and this surface this time. Okay, you see it automatically understands the location. Copy this and paste for east facade. Yeah, I will have a bit more space here. Uh, for the roof as well, I'll do the same for the roof as well. All right. West facade, east facade. This is south facade. This is, oh, we saw. Okay, this is west, this is east, and this is, wait for a second, oh, this is north. Right, north, east, south, and west. And for the roof, we can connect the same thing. The next, but... The next in the next video I'll be I'll be explaining you how we are going to convert these into like smaller pieces so that maybe I can preview this off. 
In the next video, I'll be showing you how we can convert these all small things into type of glazing that we can create. We can subdivide it, not subdividing it, use it as it is, and so on and so forth. So I'll see you in the next one.